woman, uh, Crystal Lacey Winslow. She wears a multitude of hats in the industry. She's a, a publisher, publishing several authors. She's an author in her own right, and she's done a number of things. She's a literary agent, if I'm not yes, mistaken. Yes. And she's she's a powerful uh, woman in this industry, and I'd like you to meet her. And so tell us about yourself, Crystal. Okay. I founded Melodrama Publishing in 2002. I published my first book, Life, Love, and Loneliness. And from there, the proceeds, I use the same revenue to put it back into my company so that I'll be able to publish other authors, other aspiring authors who don't have an outlet for their storylines because it's a little bit difficult getting into a major publishing house. And from there, I wanted my company to be a stepping stone for new voices. After I published Life, Love & Loneliness, with that success, Simon & Schuster approached me as well as St. Martin's approached me to um, pick up Life, Love & Loneliness. But, you know, I started from grassroots, and I definitely wanted to be my own businesswoman, so I turned down those deals. But I did write two books with Simon & Schuster, two anthologies, allowing me to keep melodrama publishing, and also to network and um, have a connection with a major publishing house. From there, after I started getting new authors, like Kiki Swenson, who my latest book that she put out is I'm Still Wifey, Yes, the success from the first one, Wifey, prompted her to come out with the sequel, which is I'm Still Wifey. And I'm also a literary agent, so we're actually shopping these two books. Not these two books, but the third copy to this as well, to a major publishing house. Okay, good. Also, people sometimes forget that I'm also an author as well, so I have a few hats on. Now, it's well. really interesting. Most self-published authors use uh, self-publishing as a vehicle to get their own work out. Exactly. But you've turned this around and you're using it as a way to actually get other authors started yes. so that they don't have to reinvent the wheel and learn yes. from scratch. Yes. So yes. what you're doing is, is really important. And Thank the fact you. that you've kept ownership is, is, is doubly important. Thank you. Now, tell me, what's the most rewarding aspect of what you're doing? The, I think it's true. The most rewarding part is that I'm able to create my own product as an author and put it out and get my own fan base. What's rewarding is when you receive an email telling you how that book affected them. Because when I write, I do try to put a message and I do try to have a moral to the story. What's rewarding for me as being a publisher is when uh, an author will tell me that I made their dream come th true. You know, they always wanted to have their book in print, and that they want to reach millions of, you know, readers and things like that. So that right there is most rewarding. And as an author underneath my own company, I'll sacrifice my writing to put another author in front of me. And that right there is the luxury of being the founder, the owner, the publisher. That's, so. that's a terrific story. And it's interesting because I've seen you essentially grow up in this. You're uh, one of the first people on the website. Yes, as yes. a self-published author. And now I've just seen you blossom into this. Uh, Definitely, this because when I came into the business, I remember looking for your site, contacting you, you know, like, what do I do? What do I send you? And you helped me. You created my page. That alone was another vehicle. A lot of people would hit that side, and then that expanded my readership. And I always look at um, AALBC as just a platform for new writers because I didn't have any, you know, a large budget for marketing and, you know, and to reach my audience. So it definitely was a stepping stone, and it's the greatest thing. I tell people that all the time. Yeah, it's a pleasure to see Yeah, success. definitely. And I, and I thank you for joining us thank today. Thank you. I, really I thank you for having me. Hi, my name is Crystal Lacey Winslow. I'm the author of the Essence best-selling novels, Life, Love, and Loneliness, The Crisscross, Cross, Four Degrees of Heat, and also a contributor in this story, Kiss the Year Goodbye. I'm also a publisher of I'm Still Wifey, Wifey, Minutes to Society, and A Twisted Tale of Karma. I'm here at the BEA Awards in Washington, D.C., and I finally made it over here to AALBC, who was definitely a vehicle in my whole career starting. So I thank you very much, Toy Johnson, the founder.